when I smell the aroma that is a baked ham in the oven, I feel Christmas. I feel Christmas. I know it's here when I smell that aroma coming from the oven. I love ham. Ham is very, very important to my Christmas holidays. I eat it once a year. But when I start eating it on Christmas morning, I go non-stop till about New Year's. And then I stop. <laughs> I'm baking a ham this morning, guys. Thanks to the folks at Mac Foods. It's Cuppa Joe Christmas, and Christmas is now finally in the air. That's right. I have a Mac Foods ham here. So what I did, uh, I really just wanted to follow some very simple steps. Ham is not a complicated thing. Um, most, some of them come pre-cooked, some you have to cook through. But you really just want to take the ham and do a simple process of scoring it. It's very, very important to score. And really when you're scoring, all you do is I pre-scored this, you're just cutting nice slices right through. And all you really want to do is to get Make sure you see what I'm seeing here. You want to get there so that whatever glaze or rub that you're putting on the ham kind of will get into the creases and crevices and flavor the ham. The ham is, is wonderfully salted, wonderful flavor, but a glaze just complements it nicely. What I like to do, guys, I like to experiment with glazes and do different types of glazes every year. I have some go-tos that I go to <laughs> every holiday, um, but love to experiment with different, you know, honey, mustard, Asian, I did, uh, you know, different, different types of glazes that I would use. Today, I'm doing a real simple, spicy, honey glaze. So this one is so simple that you don't even need to put the glaze on the fire because all you need is some good honey. Honey is a beautiful thing, huh? And I have six sexy spices that I'm gonna to add to this honey. So let me tell you. Cinnamon. I have some black pepper. I have some cayenne pepper. chili powder, smoked paprika, yeah, and I have clove spice. So because I'm adding clove, this clove spice is very strong, I am not necessarily going to score my ham with clove. So you get a whisk and you basically whisk in. Yeah, whisking all the spices into the honey. I want this sort of thick consistency. So that's the consistency you're looking for. Not too drizzly, not too wet. But yeah, that's what you're looking for. And guys, this is a simple spicy glaze. I mean, if you're smelling the kitchen now, it's smelling so fragrant. Um, it's a sort of sweet and spicy kind of combination because the cinnamon gives it that nice, you know, cinnamony, sweet aroma. Um, and then, of course, you have all the lovely spices in there. Uh, the smoked paprika and the cayenne. Real, real, real nice spices. It's so beautiful. Let me just take a little taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the honey is the perfect bed for the spices. I'm leaving this here because my ham is going straight in a dish and baking for just about 45 minutes to an hour first. According to the size of your ham, you normally will need to bake it for at least about two and a half to three hours. What I like to do is bake initially for a first 45 minutes or so and then put my first glaze on. And every 45 minutes to an hour, at least twice during the baking process, you glaze again. You take it out of the oven, glaze, and allow it to do its thing. So it's going in the oven, guys, to do its first bake. Forty-five minutes. My spicy honey glaze is my experiment of choice this holidays. So simple, but so much flavor in this glaze. 
and you just literally want to get all between the creases and crevices guys with your glaze that's the real purpose of scoring now usually as I said you can get some cloves as I said stuck in there the reason I'm not doing cloves this year is because I'm actually using a nice clove powder um, clove powder spice in my in my spice mix my six sexy spice mix that I used um, and it's, it's just kind of glazing all over this ham I'm smelling the clove actually as it's hitting the hot ham you already just want to get the glaze all over and most importantly in between the creases and crevices of the ham ideally you should do this at least one more time it's back in the oven for another 45 minutes or hour reglaze final bit in the oven and then your ham is ready to slice and serve so guys once the ham is rested you can now slice accordingly i really really have been just dying to taste a little piece some people like their ham with all the fixings ketchup mustard that kind of vibes a little chow chow on a slice of ham is heaven on Christmas morning for me. Merry Christmas.